The federal government is pushing to make sure that by 2030, more than half of the new vehicles sold will have zero emissions. But in the fight against climate change, there may be an alternative to electric cars. But Dan Cummins explains. Have you heard of ethanol? It's an alcohol made from corn and turned into a clean, low carbon, but high octane biofuel. And most likely it's in your gas tank right now. Coast to coast regular gas at the pump is 90% gasoline, 10% ethanol. But you'll see what's called unleaded 88 or E15 at some gas stations. That has 15% ethanol. It's cheaper by the gallon because ethanol is less expensive than gasoline. Ohio is one of the top corn producers in the country, over 580 million bushel. And 40% of that goes into making ethanol. Ohio has become the country's seventh largest supplier. How? There are seven ethanol plants around the state. Poet is a company that operates three of those seven in Marion, Faustoria, and Lipsick. Farmers within a 50 mile radius can bring their corn harvest for processing. Ken Maselli is general manager of the Poet facility in Lipsick. Our fuel bioethanol product goes out to uh, the Toledo and north up into the Detroit area, but most of it stays within the state of Ohio. So, uh, so we are uh, we're taking the grain, we produce the biofuel, we have the feed co products. Um, the consumer uh, in Ohio uh, gets our product when they fill their gas tank, and uh, and so it's you know made in Ohio, uh, produced in Ohio, consumed in Ohio. So we're very proud of that. Until these ethanol plants popped up, there was just one place to go with your grain, the local elevator. Tyler Dravis's family is based in Wood County. Demand for corn in Ohio keeps driving prices higher. Uh, before we were dealing with our local co-ops. Uh, when the facility was built, it created a little bit of competition in the area, allowed my family farm to uh, invest into itself, bring me back on the farm, gets an opportunity to grow, and have another outlet for our corn product. Poet in Lipsick has steady traffic of grain trucks. They also have rail available. The corn is first tested in a lab, and once approved, the trucks can drop their supply off at the elevator. 80,000 bushel come through here every single day. Then it's processed, ground up into a flour. They add enzymes and glucose. The fermentation begins with distillation. The product has many more steps. Everything is used for other products. The remaining solids become corn oil or livestock feed. The liquids can become a number of products like purified alcohol, hand sanitizer, and a quarter of a million gallons a day of bioethanol. All plant-based bioethanol uh, burns cleaner, uh, reduces greenhouse gas emissions, uh, and I think is uh, part of the answer for you know decarbonization uh, in this country and sustainability. Uh, and having plant-based uh, bioethanol is one way you get there. It's a renewable fuel. The technology has been developed even to make jet fuel out of corn, and there is confusion over what vehicles can use E15 or unleaded 88. Any car, truck, or SUV that is made since 2001, probably your vehicle. Good for your pocketbook, good for the environment, and good for Ohio farmers. I'm Dan Cummins.